Hey, it's me, Lisa. That's L I S A. Lisa, hee hee. And today we are carrying on with our Advent calendar princess stories leading up to Christmas. And so far, I have done seventeen stories. And today we are doing the eighteenth of December. That's eighteen one eight of December. And if you want to watch all of those other videos that I have done, all you have to do is click subscribe. That's the big red button underneath this video. Now let's see what story we have today. Wow! No, no, we are looking for one eight. No, no, no. Where is it? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, there it is. Eighteen. <laughs> Wow! Open at night? Have a look! And it looks like Cinderella, doesn't it? Now let's see what happens on the opening night. Yay! It was opening night at the Royal Theatre and Princess Cinderella was excited to see the show. As the curtains went up, the star stepped onto the stage. Cinderella smiled. She knew the performer. It was Kareem, a singer she had met long before she became a princess. Have a look. So here is Cinderella, who is now Princess Cinderella, with her prince. And here she is at the theatre, and it looks to be like the royal box. And then here is the performer, Kareem. Now let's see what she performs. Years before, Cinderella's stepmother, Lady Tremaine had coasted a gathering at her chateau. Chateau is a castle in French. Where girls could learn how to play an instrument and take singing lessons. Lessons sounded boring to Lady Tremaine's two daughters. Do you know who, what their names were? Well, their names were Drizella and Anastasia. Ooh, not nice girls. But Cinderella thought it was a wonderful idea. I'd love to come, she said. Lady Tremaine narrowed her eyes. Why, Cinderella, do you really have that much free time? Well, I just meant you have far too many chores to do, said Cinderella's stepmother. How cruel she's stopping Cinderella from doing what she loves. Have a look. So here is Lady Tremaine, <laughs> Cinderella's stepmother. But then here is the beautiful piano and Cinderella's not allowed to take part in either singing or dancing. Let's see what happens next. The next day, lessons began. Cinderella slipped away from her chores to peek in. One girl, standing off to the side, caught her attention. She had the sweetest voice Cinderella had ever heard. Cinderella found this girl's name was Kareem. Oh, so that's how Cinderella knows Kareem. Have a look. So here is all girls singing and practicing. But then there is poor Cinderella peeking in because she was not allowed in. How cruel. Next page. Anastasia and Drizella were immediately jealous of Kareem's talent. You're not special, his Drizella. Your voice is so quiet, no one can even hear you. Which is a good thing, since you sound like a goose, mocked Anastasia. Wow, these girls are really cruel. They are mean to everybody. No wonder they have no friends. Mm -mm. You have to be nice to people if you want them to be your friend. Later that evening, Lady Tremaine said, Anastasia, you must do something about your flute playing. <laughs> Work harder, dear. It's not my fault, replied Anastasia. I always play the right notes, but my flute plays something else. I think it's broken. <laughs> I see, said Lady Tremaine. I'll have Cinderella pick up a new one for you. Wow, Anastasia. Wow, this is not a nice girl whatsoever. She's so spoiled. Have a look. 
So here is Anastasia complaining about her flute rather than being grateful. Now let's see what happens next. At the music shop the next morning, the shopkeeper couldn't find anything wrong with Anastasia's flute. I knew that it's just because Anastasia probably does not even know how to play a flute. Even so, Anastasia wants a new one, Cinderella explained. The man handed Cinderella a new flute and asked what she planned to do with the old one. I don't think anyone will mind if I keep it, she answered. Cinderella had hoped to learn how to play the flute. She wanted to make music for her animal friends. On her way home, Cinderella saw Kareem. You sing beautifully, said Cinderella. Do you really think so? asked Kareem. Anastasia said, I sounded like a goose. That's not true, Cinderella said. Your voice is as sweet as a songbird's. I have an idea. It was time for Corrine to see for herself how good she was. Have a look at the pictures. So here is Cinderella in the music shop buying a new flute for greedy Anastasia. But then here is Cinderella meeting Corrine along her travels. Now let's see what Cinderella's idea is. First, Cinderella had Corrine sing for the shopkeeper at the music shop. Corrine, feeling a little shy, sang softly to him. Charming, said the shopkeeper. The two friends then went to the bakery. This time, Corrine sang more confidently. The baker clapped, sending up clouds of flower dust. <laughs> and the perfumery, Corrine's voice was strong, full of energy. Superb, said a customer. You're so very talented. Corrine was delighted. Have a look. So here is Corrine singing to different people in the village. The music shop, the bakery, and then the perfume shop. Wow, let's see what happens next. At the next lesson, Lady Tremaine announced that Madame Lavoie, a famous opera singer, would be coming the next day. She'd be selecting one student to study with her it was a chance of a lifetime. I'll be right by your side for the addition, Cinderella told Kareen. Just be yourself. Remember, your voice is as sweet as a sunbird's. <laughs> Thank you, said Kareen. You know, I really do think I have a chance. Have a look. So here is Lady Tremaine making the announcement. And then here is Cinderella telling Corrine that she will be by her side. How sweet. Next page. That night, as Cinderella was practicing the flute, her stepsisters and Lady Tremaine barged into her room. That's my flute! shouted Anastasia. Get it back! You have no talent, Centricella. How mean! They need to stop being mean to her. But you know what? Cinderella also needs to stick up for herself too. Lady Tremaine was furious. You can't be trusted, Cinderella. You are forbidden from being anywhere near the salon tomorrow. I want you to be outdoors, gathering firewood. Oh, imagine how heavy firewood would be. But I've already collected enough for the winter, said Cinderella. Then you will gather enough for two winters. How cruel. Have a look at the picture. So here is Lady Tremaine and her two horrible stepsisters being so mean to Cinderella. Wow, she needs to stand up for herself, Cinderella. Next page. Never allow anybody to ever treat you so badly. Always look out for yourself <laughs> when corinne arrived at the salon the next day she missed cinderella you can't sing said rosella as anastasia cackled when it was corinne's turn to audition for madame lavoie she opened her mouth to sing but nothing came out wow she must have got stage fright that means she was very nervous in the meantime Cinderella's friends had been working with her since dawn to collect the firewood. As soon as they finished, Cinderella ran inside, 
hoping to be in time for the audition. She arrived just as Strozada and Anastasia were singing their duet, which was not going so well. It was dreadful. <laughs> Have a look at the pictures. So here is Corrine, very, very stage fighting, can't sing in front of Lady Lavoie. And then here is her, her stepsisters trying to sing, but they sound awful. Now let's see what happens next. Madame Lavoie headed for her carriage. She hadn't found anyone who could be her student. Corinne told Cinderella what had happened. It's not too late, said Cinderella. If you believe in yourself, you can do anything. Corinne gave Cinderella a hug. I think I'm ready to sing now. Cinderella called out to the opera star, Madame Lavoie, if you please. Corinne would like to sing for you, she said. Corinne stood right in front of Madame Lavoie and sang in a voice that really was as sweet as a songbird. Have a look. So here is Madame Lavoie already sitting in her carriage, but then here is Corinne not giving up and trying again. Next page. I have found a most talented student announced Madame Lavoie. I predict Corinne will be a great star one day. Everyone applauded except Drizella and Anastasia. Well, of course, they don't clap for anyone. That night, Gus and Jack brought Cinderella a surprise. The flute. She gasped. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Cinderella promised she'd practice as much as possible so she could play a song for all her friends. And that's exactly what she did. Have a look. So here is Kareen <laughs> being recruited by Madame Lavoie to be her student. And then here is Cinderella delighted at the sight of the flute. Now, final page. Back at the theater, Princess Cinderella hugged Kareen after the show. Your voice is as sweet as ever, she said. You had the whole audience under your spell. Thank you, Kareen said. I couldn't have done it without you princess. Suddenly, a young performer ran up to Corrine. I did it, she said. I sang out loud. I heard you, said Corrine. Your voice was as sweet as a songbird. Princess Cinderella couldn't help smiling. The end. Have a look at the picture. So here is Cinderella, who's now Princess Cinderella with Corrine. Wow, how sweet. Wow, well, I really, really enjoyed that story and I love the message. It's actually about never giving up and even if you're frightened, keep trying and trying and always believe in yourself. Now, Lisa, that's L-I-S-A, Lisa, will see you in her next video, which will be tomorrow for the 19th story and all the other stories you can also catch up on by subscribing that's the big red button underneath this video where you can see all my other videos and also give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Bye.